There's only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, you, you Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So happy to have you guys back here with me again today. So, um, so just to let you know, guys know what we're going to be doing today. So today we're just going to be doing a little bit of shopping for the house. Um, not Well, not really shopping, but just looking, gauging, trying to look at, see if I can find some pieces or some things that I feel that can go inside the house. Um, there are some still big ticket items or bigger pieces that I still need for the house, like um, a credenza, cyborg. Um, I still need curtains for my living room area, a curtain rod. I need all that, those good things and pieces and lamps um, for my living room area and then also for my bedroom area and then also some things for the office as well. Uh, so that's what we're going to be just looking at some stuff just to get an idea of pretty much of, you know, what I think that could go inside the house. And then uh, I'm trying to be very cautious uh, as in to my spending. I don't want to spend too much money. Uh, so I'm trying my best to watch the budget as well um, and still try to save money um, as well during this process. So this is going to take a long time to get this house done the way that I want it to be done. Um, so just please bear with me as I go through that whole entire process. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So today we are going to be at Pottery Barn. So this is where we're going to be at today. Oops. So yeah, we are going into Pottery Barn. Nobody never ever told me about this place. I got off of work one day and i saw it and i fell in love with it so yeah pottery barn and this is the one in the heights in the highland area near the galleria area here in houston So they have music playing, so of course I'm gonna have to cut some of this out. So I like these tall lanterns that they have. I've seen some other tall lanterns that they have at another store and I really do like it. But they have all of my blues and pillows here. And then also, I like all of the plates right here too. So you guys, I like how the way they have these big vases right here. I'm thinking about my kitchen island is what I'm thinking about. Like putting this on my island. So, yeah. All right. So I do like these blue vases as well. Everything. I like all of the, I like the blue vases and I like the blue plates that go with them. And then I like the other pottery that they have right here at the bottom and even over here i feel like all of these are the, the color tones that i'm looking for to be in my house so that's what i'm looking at but i really really am drawn to this vase right here and the price is what mm, 150 dollars pretty much so i do like that that's a good vase right there and then I also do like the place right there. All right, you guys. So yeah, once again, I do kind of like that. And I also like these plates right here. Cause I'm thinking that you could put this in the glass cabinets in the kitchen on this play. I just need to get the pump lights either. And once again, I do like the leaves right here. So yeah, this is $139 a, a stick, by the way. That's $139 a stick. And I do like the candles right here because you can put the candles on the buffet or either in the hallway too. So I do like that. 
So the, the sales lady put this together for me right here a little bit to show me what it would look like on my dining room table. But I feel like this is a little bit too small, maybe. And not really worth it. But these right here are $39 a piece for each one. This is cheaper, whereas the bigger ones is a hundred and some odd dollars. Okay, I do like once again, these are the lanterns I really like right here that I saw. But these, I believe, I'm not sure. Let's see. How much are they? $200. So this one is $200 right here. That one's $200. And this one right here. All right, you guys. So I'm looking at this right here. So this one is 200. This one is 150. And how I see this is being on the sideboard in the dining room, not in the dining room, in the hallway in the foyer with the candles inside of it. The candles, these are the type of candles that they have. And light this little candle. I don't know how much it is. $199 just for that candle right there. So this one, it's probably about $200 for that one. Okay, so this would look nice in the living room area. And this is $500 for this, but this would look nice on the side of the couches, I believe. And with a nice lamp on top going with my couches that I have in the living room. And I know I haven't showed you guys the living room yet, but I will show y'all this afternoon, I think, maybe. I might, depending on how I feel. But that would go nice, and then that right there would be nice, too, as well. So these are two nice pieces. And once again, it's $500 for each one. So... So here they have some nice throws. I do have a throw. And when you guys see my carpet inside the living room on the floor, you will see that these colors tie in well. I really do like this one right here, though. This would be a nice throw, throw to put on the couch, maybe. I think that might be a nice one to put on there. And how much are these? These are... $179. So this right here says that the throws are actually 20% off. So 20% off that price that we just saw could get that right there. And then these are some more pillows that they have. So these are some nice pillows. And they have everything, all the blues as well that are my favorite colors and once again they're advertising 20 percent off but i do like these candles too so this is why i like this store because they have everything that you need pretty much high fashion high design they have your curtain rods as well and then they have the linens. And so I am going to I'm going to set up an appointment with them for to have a designer come out to my house yeah. to decorate. And then this is the wall of lamps that they have as well. I like the lamps that they have because I can see myself buying some of these lamps from them. So this is just to give me an idea of the type of lens that I would probably want to buy. I like this one. This one is really nice. I like this glass lamp. But then, also, oh, there you have your blue, darker blue. Baskets, oh, this one is beautiful. I like that one right there, that's beautiful. I like that lamp right there. That's a beautiful lamp. So that lamp is $350 for that lamp. So I would need to get two or two of those lamps right there for my living room area. Two of those. And I could probably put these right here, probably in the bedrooms actually. Cause I really do like those right there. Those are nice lamps. 
as well. But that's all I see for right now that I like. That's a nice, beautiful chandelier. So these are some nice pieces right here I can see going on the buffet or somewhere in the house. I really do like these blue sculptures and grass sculptures. They're really nice, but they are very expensive. Really expensive. Like for this shell right here, it is, we're looking at, oh, that's not bad, $100 for this one. Okay. Oh, don't want that to break. I don't want that to break. That was $100 for that one. And this one right here is 200. Being careful with these people's stuff. I don't want that to break. That could go on an island or the kitchen table or either on some centerpiece, maybe, but that's nice. And then they have the white ones and the pink ones. But I am about to head on out of here. I did buy some stuff. They already helped me out to the car, actually. So y'all didn't get a chance to see me walk out here with, with it. But I did buy some stuff, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I get it home and how I have it set up. It's actually more for the kitchen um, and maybe for the living room, too. I might show y'all the living room. I might. But we'll see. All right. Oh, and I really like this. I like this big wheel. I'm just thinking of where I could put it. And I feel like I could put this in the on the staircase is where I will want to put this at. But I like that big wheel. And it is $349. Oh, so that was $349 for that big wheel. I really do like that. So yeah, you guys. Um that right there is pottery born i spent <laughs> i think at the beginning of this video i said i was trying to watch my budget and not to spend money but i actually spent a lot of money and i was not planning on doing that so oh my goodness <laughs> i really spent money so our next place where we fit to get ready to head over to is another expensive place and i know i'm not going to buy nothing out of there yet i'm sorry about that i know i'm not going to buy nothing out of there yet which rh that's where we, I'm fit to head over to now. It's RH. So currently we are just love Pottery Born and Crate Barrel, if that's how you say it, is over there. And then we have RH. Uh, so yeah, let's go check them out right quick. All right, you guys. So over here at RH now, Highland Village is where I'm at now. Highland Village on H. Um, this is a nice furniture store right here, and this they actually have the sideboard that I am wanting. I'm not going to go through the front, actually. I'm going to go through the back side, but you can see this is it's going to be nice. It's a nice, real nice, nice and luxurious furniture store. They have everything that you can imagine for, or big pieces that you'll need for your home beds. Um, sideboards, all of that stuff, but highly expensive. So here we go. The big donut. But this is what I could see in the entryway in the foyer, something like this right here. In the foyer is what I would like to see. So yeah.
So anything you want, you have to come in and you have to scan the barcodes and it'll let you know how much it costs. Whoa, I like that picture frame. That is beautiful. If I had high ceilings in my bedroom like this, I would do it. Bathroom area. Like you can really do your whole house over with their stuff of how you would like to do it. They have their towels. Just out of curiosity though, let's see. Oh, that's right, you can't see. They have a statue of a naked lady. I can't put that on my YouTube channel probably. But yeah, they have a lot of stuff. Railings and everything. Shower heads. I have all of that here for you to choose from. And this is up on the second floor. <gasps> oh my goodness. Y'all, this is it. That is, so this is what I want right here, you guys. This is it. That is my TV credenza that I'm wanting for my living room. This is it. I saw it online. Uh, I was at the outlet mall in Katy. And I saw this, and they want about $4,000 for this. It is nice. This is what I want. And then I'm glad they have the white right here, because this is what my furniture is in the living room. My furniture is this white. See, I gave away information. My furniture is that white, bright white. And I know y'all probably like, what in the world are you thinking? Why would you get furniture that color? Because I'm scared to sit on it. My mom came and visit, and my mom was like, she is scared to sit on my furniture. But I like it. I think that that will go really, really well um, with my living room. So you guys, remember this. Remember this. So when I get home, and if I decide to show y'all my living room, then... Let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me that this right here would go very, very well with my living room? But it's about, this is about $5,000 is what this is. We're going to go to the third floor, see some of the outdoor patio stuff, and then we're going to head up out of here. And then I think we're going to actually head home, truth be told. But let's go. Let's see. One moment. Before we go upstairs, though, I just had to look at some of this artwork. Like, look at how they have their bedroom set up. This is what I also have to take note on because I haven't started on my bedroom yet, but I know I need to start on my bedroom because I have my bedroom furniture. I have the bed and everything in there, but this is just giving me ideas of how I need to set it up and what it needs to look like inside of my bedroom. And also for the bathroom too. But I, I like this. This is kind of low. Don't see myself doing a bed like this right here, but I do love the artwork that they have going on. And it seems like an elephant to me in that artwork. And I love this right here. So this is the office area, how they got it set up. All of this could not fit in my office unless I have it set up like this, actually. But I love the picture. It's just that the chandelier is blocking the picture, though. But I like the artwork, how tall it is and everything. So, yeah. So let's go upstairs real quick. Oh, look at that. All right, you guys. So I made it up here to the third floor. This right here 
I love it. It has my gray and everything. I gotta sit in this chair. And it's not too low either. I like this. This is nice. So all of this right here is nice, beautiful, relaxing. And then I like the water fountain. That would probably be good to have too as well is the water fountain. But all of this right here, I can do this outside my house. This is nice. But you guys already know, I'm gonna throw some blue in there probably maybe. Y'all probably sick of me in, a, in the color blue, but blue is my favorite color. <laughs> so I like this. And I also like the chandelier that they have up there too. That's nice, but I like this. I like the dark gray couches, but keep on going. Let's see, is there anything else different? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, I like this. Y'all know, of course I like this, it's the blue blue gray it was really great but with hints of blue in there yes I like this oh I like this it's, it's wide enough and everything for you to sit down it does get, it feels like it's low but it's really not that low actually it looks low to the cat over there it seems low but it's really not low and then check that out that's nice. This is nice. I like how they did that. This like uh stone almost. I would hate to ask them how much this costs. But my backyard is not this big anyway. So I don't need to entertain like that in the backyard. I just need some nice seating furniture and call it a day all right you guys so back at home um just let the dogs out to go use the restroom and everything so they're running back there in the backyard right now having the time of their life and in a minute they'll be right here at the window looking for me momentarily but so i want to show you some of the things that i got from um pottery born so show you some things that i got and where i'm going to put them at um, inside of the house um, pretty much so the first thing that you can see are the the plants right there in the background but first before I do that I bought a pillow I bought a pillow uh, when I was there um, this is my second pillow that I'm buying now from them uh, so I bought one earlier and it was going to be in a video that I was going to show to you guys but I didn't like that video that I recorded so anyway um, I bought this is my second pillow actually that I bought and like I said this is like the um, this is the main pottery barn that I like uh, I did not like the outlet um, pottery barn and I didn't like the other one in Katy I didn't like that one um, this is the one that I went to in Highlands in the gallery area the one that I like and if you remember I showed it to you guys when we were inside of the store but this is the fabric and everything so what it's going to look like, give me one second, I can show you what it's going to look like. So this is what it's going to look like. And it's going to look very nice over there in my living room area on the sofas. Um, the sofas that I have are nice. I, I like my sofas. Um, however, <laughs> my mom is scared to sit on them when she comes to visit me because she doesn't want to get them dirty. And when she said that, then it made me even more cautious too as well. Like... I don't want to do, I don't want to damage them either, but I know there's got to be some type of way to treat this fabric if in the, in the event that if a stain gets on it. Uh, so yeah, but this pillow right here, um, give me one second, I can tell you the um, price of this pillow. So this right here by itself was, um, this is the, I believe this is the insert. Um, it's $69.50 is what it is. Just for this right here by itself. And how it works is, um, and look, there's all my dogs. They are right over there at the window waiting on me already. 
Blue Blue, Ice. Hey, my two boys. So, yeah, so this right here, the insert is $22.50, and then the um, covering itself is $69. So they have the price right there for you guys. If you can see the price tag a little bit better um, on here. And so this is the zipper. So if this gets dirty or something like that, they say you just take it off, take the pillow out and you can easily wash it. And so it has a zipper right there. You unzip that and then your pillow will go inside of there. <clears throat> so when you add taxes, and everything I guess you can say this pillow came out to about it's almost about like a hundred a hundred dollars pretty much ninety some dollars with taxes and change for the pillow and for the insert so it's a nice soft down pillow and this is what it looks like and then I just gotta make sure I got it right yep Y'all ready to come in? You ready to come in? Blue, blue. I gotta show y'all blue. I love. <laughs> he just loves to sit there and watch me. Uh, I have not bought their house yet. I know that's something I said I was going to do. Ice, no. Gotta be careful not to break this. Okay, so, got that in there, and now I can zip it back up. I heard something pop, so, hopefully, I didn't damage it. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Voila. So I got two of these and I have to go back and get two more. I like the, I like the texture and everything. They feel like yarn almost. And I can see one little piece of string is hanging out there. But yeah, when people come over, I make sure to take these off the couch. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that sofa. Now that I think about it, I'm scared when people come over because I got family. I have family that's gonna come in and visit me soon, real soon. <sighs> and I don't want them to get nothing dirty. <laughs> Let me put this over here with the other one. So I have my two pillows. So these are my two pillows that I got from Pottery Born, and I gotta go buy two more to go with the other pillows on my couch. I like it. It it's nice over there. I like it. It's it's look real good in the living room. Still working on the living room. Still working on it. And so, in regards to the living room, I don't want to really show it just yet. I know I said I, I might do it. I said I might. Then say I was. I think I want to hold off on it just a little bit more longer. Just let me do a little bit more things and I will show you what I have done in the living room. And like I said, the uh, you saw the media table that I really want to go in the living room. I really want that media table. So, you know, hey, I might need a... <laughs> if anybody would like to donate <laughs> to help me get that media table, I mean, I could get it, but you know... I need to be be wise and be cautious. All right, so got that in the trash. So that was that bag. And then the last piece that I bought from Pottery Barn, which cost the most amount of money. So the this piece right here 
pretty this piece right here pretty much cost me about 400 and some odd dollars this piece right here and you remember when i was there i told you guys that uh, these were 139 dollars a piece it was 139 dollars a piece and it was so it's two of them um that i bought and then i bought show you else what else i bought I tell you that I love this I love this I'm gonna have to probably uh, fix it a little bit but as you can see this right here that's the vase that I wanted. I really really wanted this vase but I was like well I'm gonna put this vase on the buffet table then I was like no take it a step higher because I never do anything like this I thought of anything like this to put plants in here so I really like this and the lady, she pruned it out for me and everything. I'm like, yes, I want it. At first, I was like, maybe I shouldn't. But I love it so much after she pruned it out, I went ahead and I bought it. I had to buy it. So, yes. So, what this is going to do is, this is going to go over, actually. And I'll see if I can turn the camera over there a little bit. This is going to go over there in the kitchen. I mean, on the um, dining room table, actually. So, it's going to replace that one in the dining room table. So, hold on, pause for one second. One second. All right. So, now you can see it a little bit better now. Of course, I do have to fix it over a little bit in there. But that's what it looks like all together. I, I just love it. I feel like this really does go with everything that I'm trying to do. And they have so many other pieces there that you guys saw that I like that I want to incorporate. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this. I thought about letting this be the centerpiece on the island, um, but I'm looking at the leaves and everything. They're very tall. So if you look at the, uh, the uh, oh my goodness, not the spindles, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you look right here, we have the light fixtures that are hanging down. They are very, very tall. And so I was like, no, I can't do that. I cannot put it there. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so um, like I was saying, so I was going to have this piece to be right here on the island. I thought about that, but I was like, no, that's too big because of the the um, the greenery there. I thought it was just too big and it was going to be interfering with the light fixture. So I said no. And after all, my first mindset was this table anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, also, if you guys don't mind, I mean, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to see how it looks. So we're going to do away with this. This right here is going to be put somewhere else. This can go, I don't know where at, but for right now, I'll put it right here. For right now but this going to take it oh that is it matches so what do y'all think I really do like that it's a nice centerpiece for the kitchen table, the color scheme, everything. I am really liking it. This looks nice. It matches the, the mats on the table. The It just brings out everything. I really do like that. So, Now, keep in mind, we're still going to try to do something with that. We're going to try to get rid of that picture. We're going to try to get, do something with that as well. And let's see here. I just need to fix this up a little bit as well. I got to prune it a little bit. Not prune it, but, you know, straighten it up a little bit. But I like that. And is it peat moss or something like that brown little fuzzy stuff? 
to put like around the edges or something like that. That's what I'm thinking about doing as well. I'm going to buy that right there. And you guys, you see what I mean? This wall is just so blank. And so my builder as well. Like, remember, I, I think I told you guys in, it was two videos ago. I told you guys that how the way they messed up on the cabinets and everything. And that they were willing to fix this and everything, but they don't want to compensate me. But the more and more I think about it, you guys, I'm I'm glad it's like this. Because truth be told, the island is not in the right spot. I kind of figured that out too as well. The island should be bumped out over here a little bit more. And this is supposed to be bumped out a little bit more. And if they bump these things out over here more, then I'll be losing dining room space as well. It's going to get smaller. So, hey, it's a blessing in disguise. I'll take it. I'm not, I'm just my builder or not my builder, my construction manager, I should say, is avoiding me and has been avoiding me ever since I said I wanted to be compensated for that for this but yeah but other than that you guys it looks beautiful it looks really really nice i like it so i had to go um get uh, i have to go get um groceries i have to go get groceries and i gotta prepare to start working out you guys because I want to live a long, healthy life, and I want to be here to enjoy my house and the fruits of my labor to the best of my ability. Uh, so I am going to be trying my best to work out, to lose weight and everything, and eating healthy. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to go to the grocery store to go get some good foods to cook, and I have not cooked. So I, I know you see that over there. I try to make grilled cheese over there. I just didn't want to get my backsplash dirty or nothing like that. But I am about to go go run to the grocery store, get some food and everything, and then I need to get ready to go. Um, I might go to the gym today. I might let today be my first day to the gym and everything. But other than that, with all of this being said, I hope you guys really did enjoy today's video. Uh, I try my best to put a lot of heart and thought into my videos that I do for you guys. So, you know, I, I hope you guys really enjoy my videos. Um, take time to go back and look through some of my old videos if you like. You know, I try to make sure I encourage you guys, inspire you guys, whatever I gotta do. But um, I am gonna get up out of here. Like I said, um, please make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love each and every last one of you guys. And I thank you guys so much for your support and your, for riding with me thus far. And trust me, there is still much more to come. I have a lot more things to do for you guys. And thank you. That's the only thing I can say so far. I'm just, I'm really am grateful and I really am thankful for you guys. So um, stay blessed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, you guys. My children, I love my kids, my two.